I can't be the only one that witnessed that Magi episode today. Please tell me someone seen that episode alongside me because that episode was fucking crazy. The way it made Hakuryu look, because in the manga, to be honest with you, the way I feel about Hakuryu in the manga right now, and I felt like this about him as well during these events in the manga, I didn't like him. I feel as though, you know, he's just acting like a bitch. I don't, I don't like him. But the anime is displaying him in a different light. I almost feel a bit uh, sorry for him in a certain way, and I also feel like, yo, he's actually trying his damnedest, and it's just that nothing is going in his favor the way he's trying to do, because he knows what's going on, and he's, like, the way the anime displayed it, it just is really doing an incredible job, and this episode was just like, between the little filler that they added in the beginning, it wasn't the greatest little bit of filler that they added in the beginning with Ko Gyoku, it was like, it was alright, I didn't really particularly care for it, it added a little more to her character, so I guess that's cool, but from midway through, when... Empress Gyokuen is announced, and it's just like, she's a fucking rotten, nasty bitch. This is what I like about a villain. It's like, yo, not only does she not give a fuck to kill her husband, two of her fucking kids. And then now it's like, well, you know, I'm going to take the throne just until you're done with your, your job. And then, you know, and she's like trying to fucking jump on uh, Cohen's dick. It's like, what the fuck? Is that... If, I'm not sure, is that actually her son, or did the king already have those kids when she jumped ship with Hakuryu? I, I believe he would have had, yeah, because he's older than Hakuryu and uh, Hakuwe, so he, those aren't actually her kids. And it's like, she's trying to jump on now the son's dick, now that the fucking dude is dead and she's feeling up on him, and it's like, fucking Gyokuen. Now, the anime did something that was a little bit like, ugh, spoilerific a little bit. Just a little bit, if you caught it, when Hakuryu, which by the way, the fucking attack, the animation is so gorgeous, why can't some of my other series have this animation, please? Because the animation, when Hakuryu attacked Gyokuen, was fucking flawless. I loved it, it was incredible. But they had a little bit, because first of all, it shows that Yoko went in just an ordinary chick. She's an actual warrior. She right there was blocking him. And she pretty much didn't have that much, she didn't break a sweat. He was going full throttle with every ounce of passion of hatred he has towards his mother. And she just had a Borg outside of her and just knocked him back like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. And I won't say any more than that. I won't say any more. If you didn't catch it, then good. But the anime, that's one thing that it kind of slipped at. And I guess this episode really just gave me a better impression of the character Hakuryu. Because I never really like, in the manga, I don't like him. I just feel like he's kind of like, in a way, he reminds me of what Sasuke did at the end of part one. Where it was just kind of like, fuck you guys. I don't want to grow with you guys. I'm going to grow in the dark side or some shit. And I was just like, oh wow, you really going to do it like that, motherfucker? You really going to do it like that? So, when I saw just the way everything was going, he was trying, you know, Hakuway, we got to do things this way. I guess it's just his approach of how he's doing it in the sense of, like, he's not going to his sister in a confiding in my sister type of way. He went more so in, like, you know, you're going to listen to me. You're my sister, and we're going to do this thing. And I guess Hakuway didn't appreciate that. And at the end of the day, Hakuway still feels as though... The most important thing is that the co empire strives regardless of what. And while she is a good person, I can sense, you know, she definitely, the way she tried to, uh, deal with the Koga village and stuff like that, she definitely isn't like him, where he feels as though he knows what he wants to do and what he has to do in order to get rid of Althaman. And it's just like, yo, Althaman is a fucking crazy threat too because they've in infiltrated the Koen Empire. They pretty much took it over with having Gyo Koen become the Empress. And it's like, fuck. Uh, to be honest with you, I would have been fucking hella hyped if Cohen would have said, what, bitch? You taking my throne? Get the fuck out of here. So I wish it would have went like that. But again, there's a lot of political aspects to it as well. You got to be political because if he does that, maybe the the government won't listen to him. The rest of the people, maybe the, the citizens will be like, wow, you overthrew the empress, you know, the wife now that the father, your father's dead. That's wrong. So you got to be political about the way you approach things. But overall, this episode is just like really diving more into a haku to you stuff. And when Judal said, what Judal said at the end of the episode was just fucking, it gave me kind of chills. He said, oh, it's too bad. Uh, it seems as though you only have hatred for your mother. But if you ever have hatred for your destiny, I'll be there. And it's just like, oh, God, what the fuck? Oh, this Magi episode, this isn't a review. This is straight up a reaction because it was just like fucking second half onward was just absolute craziness. Beautiful animation. 
fucking epic battle, crazy revelation. You got uh, Gyokuen just fucking takes over the throne pretty much and is just like, this is what I'm talking about. If you're worried that Naruto was ending soon, if you're worried that Bleach is ending soon, then you need to check out Magi, check out the anime, then jump onto the manga because it is that shit. I promise you, I'm not hyped for no reason, people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not hyped for no reason. This shit is crazy. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Hakuryu's resolve because I gotta respect it. Even if in the manga I don't like necessarily some of the approaches he's took to certain matters, I still respect his resolve and his hatred. I respect it because he has a right to hate this fucking woman, his father, his siblings. I understand it. I get it. And the anime does it in such vivid details like Magi greatness. Up in that world and as always people, have an awesome day and once again, once again, just Thumbs up for that motherfucking Haku to you and that craziness, that evil sexy bitch, Gilkuen.